installing Windows 10. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey guys and welcome to PC Simplest. Today we're installing Windows 10. I have been waiting for this moment for a very long time. You see, I've been waiting and waiting for the download to just initiate and start, but I lost my patience. So in my previous video that you saw, and we'll link to that somewhere, you'll see that we burned the Windows 10 image to a flash drive. So make sure you have your flash drive available because we're gonna get this party started. A couple things you need to know. If you haven't done this part yet, check out my video that I just linked to and it'll be in the description as well because you need to have either a USB drive with the Windows 10 image on it or a DVD. So go do that now, make sure you have it. Number two, back everything up. I'll also link to another video that I've done about backing all of your stuff up. Make sure you have everything on your desktop in your documents, your downloads, your pictures, your videos, everything that's gonna be affected on your C drive, make sure you back that up first because you're gonna lose it all doing this. So back it up, watch the video. Make sure you have your drivers downloaded for your machine. So if you have a Dell or an HP or a Toshiba, Lenovo, whatever it is, go out to their website and download their drivers beforehand because you will need them. If you have a custom computer, you may have, you will definitely have to do the same. You're gonna have to go out to the website for your motherboard, you know, whatever that is, Asus, uh, AS Rock, whatever it is, Gigabyte, you know, go to their website, download the drivers for, you know, your LAN adapter. That's really, honestly, all you're gonna need. I mean, you could download the rest of them and throw them on a thumb drive or on a DVD or whatever and have them all downloaded and ready for you to use. But ideally, honestly, all you need is the Ethernet adapter, you know, whether it's wireless or a hardware connection that you have. Download that driver so that when you get your Windows 10 installation installed, you can go out to the net and basically download the drivers from there. It might be a little bit easier that way because you'll also do the Windows updates. Sometimes the Windows updates will, you know, catch all of that stuff and start downloading it for you which is very convenient. So, do that before you do anything else. Anyway, we're gonna get started, and I keep shaking this flash drive, and I don't know why. Anyway, here we go. First thing you need to do, plug this bad boy in. The next thing we need to do, if your computer's on, we're gonna shut it down. And then, what we're gonna do is boot our computer to this flash drive. So you may have to enable that in the BIOS. I'm not gonna go over that part portion of this right now because it should automatically be enabled on most systems. If not, you may have to go in your BIOS. Just leave a comment below. Tell me what kind of make and model you have of a computer and I'll look it up and see what you need to do. So anyway, you see I have two videos running here. So our computer's off and it got a lot quieter in here. So anyway, we're gonna turn this thing on there we go. And what you're gonna do is hit F12 on your keyboard. And you're gonna do that a bunch of times until we get, we get to a boot menu. You may have to hit escape, it may be different. I know a lot of HP models have that. Uh, mine is actually at F11, so I should practice what I preach here. Anyway, so you're gonna hit escape and you're gonna choose a boot menu. You're gonna hit F12 and you're gonna get a boot menu. It really depends on your system. Just know that during your initial boot up, you need to either hit escape, F11, or F12 to choose a different boot option. So now what we're gonna look for here, and you can see in our list, I wanna make sure you guys can see this pretty good. Um, we're gonna go down to USB, and this is a SanDisk Cruiser Glide. So I know that's my flash drive. So you need to know what the name of your flash drive is because it's gonna tell you in the, in the, in the boot menu here. If you have a DVD, you're gonna choose CD DVD. So it's kinda simple, right? So anyway, what we're gonna do, boot, hit enter. Select your drive, hit enter, and it's gonna start booting from that. So now we're getting this party started a little bit, and we're gonna be doing a lot of edits in this video because this is gonna be a fairly long process. It shouldn't take too long because we're booting from a, a thumb drive. Another note, if you burn an image to a thumb drive, it goes a lot faster than if you did it to a DVD. All right, so we got to our next screen. So here's what we need to do. Everything here that I, we see, we like. If you don't speak English, and but you understand me, maybe you should choose a different language. Anyway, everything is right here. So we're just gonna click next. 
and we're going to do install now. Now it's going to do our setup is starting. So while this is happening, another thing to note is if you have multiple hard drives in your computer, you need to specifically know which hard drive it is that you are going to be using. And so we're back. And for whatever reason, it didn't like my product key. I don't get it. I have a legit copy of Windows 8. So it should have taken it. Anyway, what we're going to do here is accept the terms and conditions because, you know, you're basically selling your life right now. They're going to say, hey, we're going to take all your data, blah, blah, blah. You agree. You have no choice. Anyway, for my case right here, and most of you as well, since you just shut down your computer and you're not sure what you're going to do, we're always going to do a custom install. I always choose that no matter what because what I'm going to do is find the hard drive that I want to use and I'm going to wipe it. So I know that my hard drive is only 55 gigs. It's a 60 gigabyte SSD solid state drive, uh, but it only comes out to about 55 gigs. So what I'm going to do is scroll down, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to hit delete. So just know, you know, whatever drive you choose, and you may only have one, you know, just delete it. It's going to, it's going to free up, you know, the partition and everything, and you're going to be able to use that uh, unallocated space. Not much you need to know there. But anyway, select your drive again, and then click Next. And now it's going to go through the process of installing Windows 10. So again, we're going to come back in a little bit once this is done, but it shouldn't take too long, and I'll try to time it just so you can see how long it actually takes to install Windows 10. So we'll be right back. And we're back, and right now it's doing the next step. So pretty much it took about seven minutes, give or take, for Windows 10 to install off of a thumb drive, which is pretty sweet. So the thumb drive going to the SSD, very quick, very smooth, definitely would recommend A plus number one. So anyway, we are uh, getting ready to, well, getting devices ready, clearly. Yeah. And anyway, uh, get going fast, yada, yada, yada. It says basically theme settings and different crap that you can set. Uh, I don't really care much about that. So we're just going to use express settings. Simple, easy. Let's make this a piece of cake. Why waste our time, right? Exactly. And let's see, just a moment it says. Who knows how long a moment can be when it comes to Microsoft moment can mean like 12 minutes so hang tight here's another edit so we're back and it's time to create an account for this PC so what who's going to use this PC I am so I'm going to name it whatever I want I always call my PC usually just workstation because that's what it is and I don't really care about a password right now so next Gosh. hi welcome you've got mail nah they're setting things up for us. That's kind of neat. That's nice of them. This won't take long, it says. Again, when Microsoft's telling me, just a moment, or this won't take long. <sighs> My beard's going to grow white. Hey guys, then we're back. And guess what? We have a desktop. It's time to get this party started. Woo! No. Anyway, in all seriousness, this is Windows 10. This is what I've been waiting for for a while. Uh, here's just a quick glance of Windows 10. Here is the new start menu. Fantastic. Awesome. Uh, you can see it has like the tile thing here. There's no more tile screen necessarily. It's all in your start menu. And you have, you know, all of your apps and your power and your settings. And, you know, you have all of your options and everything all kind of in one nice organized-ish place and it's actually you know it looks really cool it looks really slick uh, it is a very large start menu so if it's not something you like we will show you how to customize this at some point uh, but like I said cool tile screens and again you can always adjust them move them around to your liking because it's customizable and we like that we like to be able to customize what we're going to be using all of the time so we have Windows 10 installed. Good luck. Have fun.